We don't know. We don't get an answer. Tell us what uh, your sign is about. The water. The city of Brantford has decided to shut the utilities off at Canada. Uh, we requested that a utility, a utility account be opened December uh, 17th or 18th, and the city is refusing. It's a violation of their own municipal act. It's uh, depraved and really difficult for us to uh, to understand. Uh, what we do know is the city of Brantford is in some very serious trouble in respect of uh, about a $734 billion arrears account which has been sent to collections and it seems that after that was sent to collections uh, the city decided to uh, deprive the occupants of Canada of utilities. Did you hear back from them when, you, uh, when this uh, account was sent to them? Uh, the collections from account? the city of Brantford. Yeah. Well, we've heard from their lawyer, and, and they're of course denying any responsibility. Did they send you the bill? Did Did the city send us the bill? Yeah, for the water. Uh, no, we've never gotten a bill for anything. And so what we did when the city council decided to stop paying the utilities, which is strange to me that they were paying them anyway, in the first place. Uh, all we want to do is be like normal people and have a utility account and pay our bills. When did they shut it off? Uh, December, around December 15th. And, and it could just maybe could explain uh, who Bill Squire is and what he Bill, represents. Bill Squire is the spokesperson for the Kanika Haka, mm -hmm. which are the Mohawk people. Yep. And uh, since July I've been here helping Bill with his, uh, well, basically with his files. We've got uh, a really unbelievable situation here where the city of Brantford doesn't have any clear title to any of their land. And by no clear title, I mean that uh, we don't see any valid surrender 
for any land that is uh, being occupied, polluted and corrupted. So we've come to get to the bottom of this. We've uh, involved a special rapporteur on the rights of Indigenous uh, peoples. Would that be with the United Nations? Yeah, with the United Nations, Professor mm -hmm. James Anea, um, who has been looking into this and who's aware of our grievances. Mm -hmm. And um, as you can tell, the Idle No More movement is, is basically uh, going around the world. Today is an international day of, of solidarity. That's why we've come here. And it appears we can't even go in and address the council, which is just typical. Uh, so you're, these... sorry, yeah. uh, you're aware that there's a, a meeting on right now here? I, I know there is one, yeah. Oh. yeah. Is, that, is that a public meeting or a brand, uh, in camera? I, with this council, I really don't know. They've been meeting in camera usually to discuss our issues at 4 p.m and then they open up to the public. When we came uh, last week, uh, we had missed the in-camera session. We weren't allowed into it. Uh, so we've come this week and it looks like we won't even get into the building. What's your reaction to that? I, I just find it very troubling that, that this, uh, this, this city is not following their own law. They have, uh, there was a municipal act which governs how municipalities are supposed to conduct themselves. Records are supposed to be open to the public. Meetings are supposed to be open to the public. And instead we see this uh, council trying to avoid uh, nearly a trillion dollar uh, debt, not giving any straight answers. And uh, we're told that the, we can't look at the files that we want to see because they're at the airport. And we have uh, Judge Errol issuing orders that uh, somehow permits this council to, to talk about what they need to talk about in secret. Uh, it's not a secret that the money is going to have to be paid one time uh, sooner or later. What did you hope to do? We were hoping to address the councillors, uh, at least speak to somebody, um, perhaps listen to what they're uh, discussing, find out why they're violating the Municipal Act and denying service of uh, water which is just an inhumane and bizarre tactic. It doesn't make sense to anybody. Did uh, you try to get on the agenda? To, you know, this way, be part of the meeting? Uh, for home, for oh, there. No, no, we didn't, we didn't want to formally address the, uh, the council. We did that already. Right. So, maybe my last question for you. What does it say that this is a public meeting, uh, the Sisabot meeting is open to the public as it is every week, but the doors are locked to you? What message does that send? It sends a message that they don't want the public in, in here uh, listening to what they're talking about. I don't know if they're afraid of the public. This is a peaceful protest. We've come here with serious grievances, and they're grievances shared by people all around the world. And Brantford is really the belly of the beast. It's, it's really frightening. People should be very ashamed of this type of behavior. Um, totally peaceful uh, round dance, and we can't even get in to talk to anybody, so... Uh, they dignified us, at least with a response, at least with a reason. Maybe they want us to put the signs down. Maybe they're afraid of the flag. Maybe they're afraid of the media, or maybe it's a combination of, of all the above. Could I just get your name again? Sure, it's Jason Bowman, B-O-W-M-A-N. Thank you and very I'm, much. I'm a special assistant to Bill Squire, who is the spokesperson for the Canadian Great, thank you. Okay. Flashmob round dance. Yeah, N nothing, nothing unlike what's going on all over the world today. Uh, but here we see a different, uh, different story. So, okay. so nothing any different than what's going on in elsewhere in the world. Today. All over the place. I, I, I know that when the uh, chiefs earlier in December tried to enter the House of Commons, they met with a similar type of uh, response, being locked out of a place that is normally open to the public. And uh, maybe that's who Chris Friel's taking his, uh, his lead from. I really don't know. Was, was, so is Mayor Friel, you think, is, has an influence on this type of behavior here? He certainly has been one of the more, more outspoken politicians. I mean, in 2000, he says that the Six Nations land claims are totally valid uh, to all kinds of applause and drum beats uh, at, at, the, at a new credit powwow. And uh, then you see him totally, totally doing about face. Now he's going down to Ottawa. He, he refuses. See, the big thing of, that this council seems to be afraid of is the fact that the Kanikahaga Wolf Clan has a chief. This chief does not come under the Indian Act. He does not come under these artificial creations like elected band council systems that have been put into place. This particular chief, the Wolf Clan chief, is a sovereign person. He is an ally of, of Queen Elizabeth. 
uh, he's been registered since 1972 as such. And to ignore a chief is absolutely disgusting. I don't know. I don't know on what basis the the, the, the mayor thinks that he can uh, marginalize and and, and um, minimize someone who has a right to bring his grievances forward. So I can chief tell you. is Bill Squire. No, the chief is oh. Ted Squire. Oh, Ted Squire. Ted is the chief, and Bill Squire is the spokesperson. Okay for the Kanikahaga. So Bill Squire speaks for the Turtle, Wolf, and Bear clans, and this chief is the uh, Wolf Clan chief that I'm referring to. We came in here in October and presented this to all the councillors with the letter of uh, registration when the king was appointed chief. The governor general acknowledged the appointment, wished him a long and fruitful stay in office. What was the registration of? Uh, it was a reg what happens is when the chief is appointed, uh -huh. um, the notice of his appointment will go to Queen Elizabeth. Uh -huh. And when Queen Elizabeth directed the Governor General to respond, uh -huh. that's the, the registration letter I'm talking about. Just basically acknowledging that, you know, th this guy is not a subject of, of Queen Elizabeth. Uh, he's an ally of Queen Elizabeth. And he has uh, the right to raise grievances. Uh, we're going to be going into court by the look of it. Because dealing with this uh, with this type of behavior is just really not acceptable. So, did they come back and tell you anything? At one point, somebody went off to get somebody else to come back. Did that happened. It looked like it, but no, they've they've said nothing to me. So, right. I'm not getting any answers. So you asked to see a supervisor, but so far. Yeah, I asked to to know who was in charge so that we can decide. Uh, do you know who does the security here? Is it the city itself or is it uh, private? I, I don't know to be honest. That's a private firm. Oh, yeah, I've, I've been here several... Watch those people. They're, yeah. I've right. been here for several council meetings and I normally just see a very pleasant woman. That's right. Um, with she's a laser. Sit, she's sitting back there right yeah. now yeah. at the desk. Yeah, these guys I've never seen. Right. No. He's the only one who's friend. Yeah!